Hello, welcome to this Audio Visualize Everything guide. How do you use this Audio Visualize Manager? If we were to press play right now, you would notice this is an elephant. that we had a you clip elephants are the largest inserted here on this audio source. And it's got its own stats. So if we play, you can look at the stats. This is an elephant. Did you know elephants are the largest land animals on earth? I'm going to mute it. But as you can tell, we have an output value. And everything we do will determine on this output value. It tells you what the max output recorded is. And we tell you what the minimum output recorded is. Automatically, you could easily come to the conclusion that we could use this output value and multiply it by our variables to make effects happen on the screen. But before you do that, maybe you want to calibrate this output value. Now, how do you do that? You do that using the output setting. Now, it's very hard to visualize these out output settings. So I have incorporated a graph for you. We're going to enable the graph and it'll show you how it will look like. It will tell you the maximum value is 0 0.06. So if we were to multiply by our, by our variable, it would make our variable very small. If our transform, transform and our scale was 1, and then we will multiply the scale by 0 0.06, they would make it very, very small. However, if we add this value with one, so we say one plus 0 0.06, it means our trans our scale will be bigger by approximately 5%. And if we add one to a negative 0 0.06, it would mean that our, our scale will be decreased by 5%. And if this happens every time the app port is called, you would notice that we would, our transform size will go up and down between 95% and 105%. And that might have an effect that is desirable by your project. So let's turn off this graph for a split second. Disable. Let's disable this. And I have some demo objects for us. So I'm going to enable one and play it. So the way this works is that the scale of this object is actually getting multiplied by our output, as you can see. But it's not very clear. So let's refine it. How do we refine it? One way to do it is by changing these values here. Generally, the smaller this value is, the more beats you get, the more refined beats you get. The larger, the less refined beats you get. So you'd want to have it smaller. The refresh time also has an effect. If we refresh time is 0 0.1 second, the beat happens less frequently and it might correlate less with your audio. The faster it is, if you make it really fast, 10 times faster, it beats really, really fast. It's almost hard to follow. So depending on your clip, you might find a medium somewhere that you're comfortable with. So if we play the audio right now and mute it. An elephant is about 3.2 meters tall, weighing six tons on average. That's huge. The male African elephant is about 3.2 meters tall. Let's go back to muting it. Does this look good for you? I'm not sure. Maybe you feel like the effect isn't very noticeable. Another thing you could do, you could change it from multiplying by actual volume to any of these other um, formulas. Um, you can experiment with those and see which one is best for you. But an easier way to do this, stick with the actual raw data and we can go to the multiplier. We can increase the multiplier so our output volume is a bit more visible shall we say and this what well, this bar and this bar they basically add up to the total multiplier because this is set to one and this is set to one you get a total multiplier of zero uh, of two what if you wanted the multiplier to be reducing the effect well that's quite simple you reduce this to zero 
and then you put this value down so right now we are halving our multiplier and as you can see the effect has reduced to such a point where you can barely see it if we reduce it even further you, it's basically having the same effect but it's so minute you, you actually can't see it so one thing to do right now our multiplier is multiplying by zero so we don't see anything whatsoever if we were to increase this value here you can see that we have enhanced our effect dramatically and it's a lot more visible but this could give you an effect that you do not want so yes it's very nice and visible but maybe this is too much you like the fact that it happens very frequently you like the strength of the effect but sometimes the ball gets really really small and it gets really really large let's find out how large it's getting and how small it is we can go back to our graph and enable it and we can see it's around the value of one and the lowest value we have achieved is around minus one and if we find this to be too much so we could just clip it we go to the clipping output or clamp output and we could say we don't want our minimum to be minus one that was too much let's say we want our minimum to be minus 0.5 instead and then we could say we don't want our minimum to be one that was too much we want our maximum value to be 0.5 and now you realize it's actually getting clipped between 0 0.5 and 5 if we open our graph again you can see it's being clipped it will not allow anything to go beyond minus 0 0.5 and it will not allow anything to go to plus 0.5 we could actually affect this a little bit more just to see how it looks like so minus 0.3 and let's say 0.3 I, as you can see everything is being clamped between these two values we could turn off the graph and you might feel like okay that is basically what you are looking for maybe it's not maybe the effect is still a little bit too much we can change it to 0.1 here and minus 0.1 now you, you can see that the effect, maybe this is what you're looking for. Personally, I don't like this because what's happening now is, what's happening now, it's basically either giving you a zero value or it's giving you the maximum value or the minimum value. It doesn't sound very, very accurate. So the way I would do it is personally reduce the multiplier. We'll take the multiplier so this is not the multiplier. I'm going to reduce the multiplier back to one. Okay. I'm going to remove these clamping values back to minimum output minus one, maximum output plus one. I'm okay with that. And instead, where was I? Instead, I'm just going to refine my multiplier a little bit more. Disable the graph. I'm going to refine my multiplier by increasing the multiplier by a more reasonable amount. That looks a lot better for me. Does it represent the sound? Let's find out. Did you realize that African bush elephants can run as fast as 40 kilometers an hour? Yes, but it's refreshing maybe a bit too much. So let's reduce the refresh rate. The humid forests in West Africa and the Congo Basin its tusks are straight and point downward, different to the African bush elephant whose tusks are curved and they point upward. Okay, so let's assume we are happy with this. Um, all you have to do to save this information is to go up here, right click, copy component. And then when you pause, all this information will be lost, but you can just right click and paste component values and now you have the settings that you wanted. Okay, now, so let's give a few more examples. Let's open this up and enable these other demos that we have. I can't see them right now, but if we shrink this, now you can see them in view. We have two extra demos I've added. Now let's play and see what happens. As you can tell, are the largest land animals on Earth? Most experts recognize. 
As you can tell, the one on the left is increasing its Y position scale. The one on the right is increasing its X position scale, or maybe X and Z. You can't really see the Z from this um, camera view. And the circle is actually increasing all of its scale, X, Y, and Z. How do you manipulate this data? I personally prefer using the raw values, the raw output values, so by using the actual volume, and then create these following scripts. Just a second. Edit scripts. So I've made three different scripts. This is the script for the circle. And what we're doing is we are getting the transform local scale and we are basically multiplying the x y and z by the audio visualizer manual manager output volume but because the volume is between one and minus one as you could ch check from the graph we have added a plus one to it so it will be between two and zero and the average value would be around one if it gets multiplied by one the size doesn't change if it gets multiplied by 1.5, the size will be increased by 50%. If it gets multiplied by 0 0.5, the size will reduce by 50%. Now, for our object B, we were only increasing the Y value. And the others, we just kept them the same. And with our object C, we were not um, changing the Y. We were just changing the X and we were changing the Z value. And that's the effect it gave us. Now, this is all good and uh, dusted, but how, how, this doesn't exactly look all that well. Well, the thing is, it really depends on how you use it. This is just a tool. And right now, all we're doing is multiplying it by the scale. But there is so many things you could do with it. In you could increase and decrease opacity of your object. You could do you can move lips with it you could do some sort of a lip sync action and at the end of the day this is the light version of this tool we will be releasing a more detailed version of this tool but for now we're just releasing the light version um let me give you an example of what you could do with it if you combine it with your project or any other asset that's available to you Okay, so let's make another example. Instead of these objects that we've used so far, let's disable these. This is an asset made by Orange Keys. It's called Shape FX Pack. And it looks pretty nice. If we play, it looks like this. This is an elephant. Did you know elephants are the largest land? And this is the effect it comes with naturally from the pack. <clears throat> we are not manipulating any of this right now. But if we look at this asset, there are some variables we can manipulate. And as you can see, by manipulating it, we can have effects on the asset. I'm going to keep them at zero. And we're going to try to manipulate these variables using our audio visualizing asset. The first thing we want to do is attach a script to it, which I've already attached. The script looks like this. We're going to want to manipulate the, norm, the normal push start variable, which is this variable right here. But before we could do that, we need to go back to our audio output, audio visualizer manager, and subscribe to the output event, we're going to drag our asset here. We'll look for our function called beat listener and listen to volume change. These are the functions we have added to our script. So if we go here and edit script, listen to volume change. So every time an output is released, this function will run. And so far what we're doing is we're saying normal push start, which is this current static value right now, which is zero. And we're just going to add to that value the output value. 
if we press play, let's put the Elephants sound on. The largest land animals on Earth? Most experts recognize that there are two species of elephant, Asian and African. But the African elephant breaks up into two types, the African bush elephant and the African forest elephant. Now, we like it, but maybe we don't like it when it goes to in the outward direction. So let's find out what causes it to go in the outward direction. So if the default is zero, if we drag it on the outside, beyond the value of 0 0.2, it will have this very ugly thing that happens on the outside. So we could go to our audio beat right here. And we could say our maximum output should be 0 0.2. Let's put this back on default zero and start now and see if that happens. This is an elephant. Did you know elephants are the largest land animals on earth? Most experts recognize that there are two species of elephant, Asian and African. It kind of still happens a little bit. So we could reduce it a little bit further. Uh, let's make it maximum output of 0 0.15 to be sure. Let's play that again. This is an elephant. Did you know elephants are the largest land animals on earth? Most experts recognize that there are two species of elephant, Asian and African. What happens when it goes into the negative? So the negative doesn't cause that to happen. So we're good with that. Actually, if we increase this value, it seems like anything beyond 0 0.1, we will see this effect that we do not like. So let's go back to this. Make it 0 0.1 maximum value. Go back to our sphere. Set this back to 0 and let's go. This is an elephant. Did you know elephants are the largest land animals on Earth? Most experts recognize that there are two species of elephant, Asian and African. That looks the much African better. Elephant breaks up into two types, the African bush elephant and the African forest elephant. Now there is another thing we could play with. So if this is at zero and this is at zero. Shrink factor. Shrink factor might have an effect. I don't know if we should play with this actually. But maybe if we do play with it, we can have an extra effect. You can experiment with these things. You could apply it on any asset you want. You can apply it on any variable you want. And you could give an effect as if the sound is resonating from the object. So this was just an example. Keep in mind, this asset does not come with this tool. This is just an example. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Take care and bye-bye.